what is up guys my name is Kimofi and welcome to a brand new video on the channel now in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how you can get an SSL certificate for your website for absolutely free an SSL certificate just shows this green padlock on your website and if you click on it it says your connection to this site is private it proves to your visitors that no one can access encrypted information Sites like Google and YouTube and other popular sites already have SSL, but if you don't have SSL and your visitors try to visit your website with an HTTPS protocol, they will be greeted with this red scary warning. Now, SSL will also take away this warning, which says attackers might be trying to steal information, for example, passwords, messages, or credit cards. We don't want that to happen. So the only thing you're going to need access to to install an SSL certificate is cPanel. Once you have cPanel for your domain, just log into cPanel and just keep that open for now. Go in a new tab and go to this website. Link is in the description. And once you're on this website, just type in your domain name. It's SSL for free. They use a Let's Encrypt Certificate Authority to create free SSL certificates. So just type in your domain name, press create free SSL certificate, hit manual verification, scroll down, just wait a second, and if it does not let you scroll down more, press manually verify do domain, then scroll down, and you'll be able to see a bunch of steps. Now download file number one and file number two. It doesn't matter which order you download them in, but go back to cPanel right now and open up file manager. Once file manager is opened, just scroll down and open your public HTML folder and press new folder in there and name it dot well dash known and hit create new folder. Wait, let me just make sure. Yep, dot well dash known. And it might not show up here for you. It might show up. If it doesn't show up right away, just go over to settings, press show hidden files, and hit save. And the dot well known folder should be there. Now just open up that folder, hit new folder, and type in acme challenge. That's ACME dash challenge and hit create new folder and open up that folder and press upload and drag the two files we just downloaded and upload them to your site scroll down and press go back and you should see these sites here now what you're going to want to do is go back to the ssl for a free tab and just click on these links here and you should see a single line of text and if you do see a single line of text on both links, that means that verification has worked. So now you can just press download SSL certificate. Do not press retry manual verification because if you do, you will have to redo all these steps. Hit download. And it's going to generate the SSL certificate in your browser. So scroll down. You should see these three boxes filled with text. Now go back to your cPanel. Scroll all the way down to under security, you should see SSL slash TLS. Open that up and press install and manage SSL for your site. Press manage SSL sites. And once you're on this page, just scroll down. Press domain. Select your domain. And in the first box where it says certificate, just copy the certificate from here. Just tap in the box, hit Control A and Control C. Use Command A and Command C if you're on the Mac. Go back to cPanel and paste it in. Once you paste it in, it should autofill these fields out. If it doesn't, that's completely fine. Just go back to this page here. Click in the private key box. Hit Control A, Control C. Go back to cPanel and press Ctrl V. Again, use command if you're on a Mac. And then scroll down at some more and copy and paste the CA bundle from the SSL site again. And once you're here, 
just paste that back in here and that's all you should leave this box checked hit install certificate and just give it a couple of seconds and it will install a SSL certificate. Now you could hit OK and an SSL certificate has been installed onto your website. So we can go back and reload this page. And as you can see we have the green padlock on our page. That means that our connection is now private. Now we're going to want to force SSL whenever somebody visits our website. So we're just going to go here onto our website and in our public html directory we're going to press plus file new file name is going to be .ht access if it already exists just press edit on it and once you have your .ht access file edit it hit edit and once you're editing this file just paste this code in and edit your domain with whatever your domain is oops all right and once your domain is in there just hit save changes and it should say success and once you've installed the ssl certificate try visiting your website without the https protocol and it should automatically redirect to your website with https now there is one downside to using this free ssl certificate which is that it expires in 90 days, which is three months. So you're going to have to redo this process every three months. Do it a little earlier than that. And every time you go ahead and redo this process, make sure in your SSL page, you go down and you hit uninstall. So that's about it for this video. If you guys like this video, please be sure to leave a big thumbs up down below. That being said, my name is Kimo Fai, and I'll see you in the next one.